that you're changing and you're going to leave them, sometimes they'll try to leave you before you leave them. And it's just because nobody wants to be left behind. That's all where it comes down to. So, all right, it's Josh back out again with another video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you leave me in the comments down below. But we are going to be doing another video on why your friends treat you differently on body game. You know what I'm saying? Like, why? You know what I'm saying? Why are they probably making comments or why are they kind of bring you down or why are they kind of like stop being so close and tight knit? And what I want you guys to understand is that when you start changing, when you start growing, you're not the old person. You start shedding out of your old habits. You start shedding out of like how you used to think or how you used to be. And that's perfectly normal. But what I want you guys to understand is like what is going on is people are starting to see you in a different light and you're changing your life drastically. Like a lot of times people think like the gym is not really that big of a deal. People don't really understand the gym as much. But when you start working on yourself, your body changes, you know what I'm saying? And like how people view you, like whether it's just like attraction or masculine, like your frame or feminine, you know what I'm saying? If you start working on your body, essentially in your body. Basically, what you're doing is you're making it more pleasing to the eye for other people. So that's one thing. It's just that when you look at a more aesthetic body or you look at like a more dominant body, it does make a person feel, I wouldn't say insecure, but it makes them feel different. Like they start comparing themselves a lot more because they can visually see the body. They can visually see you. So it's just like they start to think like, okay, well, maybe I should work out. Or like they'll start questioning themselves more so. And that's sometimes uncomfortable. You have to think about it. Like, not everybody wants to be reminded of what they're not doing. You know what I mean? It's almost just like if you have, um, you know what I'm saying? Let's say, for example, you don't have a lot of money and you're around people who have a lot of money and they're exercising their money. It can, it can make you feel uncomfortable because it's just that you understand that you're not able to do the same things that they're doing. And by the time you do have the amount of money they have, they probably have more money. So you almost feel as though you can't catch up. And that's natural, but you never know how a person is going to react to you based off of how you're feeling. You know what I'm saying? So if you look at it from like if you had a lot more, op a lot more um, options or you had a lot more money, you had a lot more um, selection, it's just that people see you differently and they don't see you as the same as them. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like you're an opponent. It's just this person and you is separate. It's not together. So I want you guys to understand that when you're saying when you work on your body, like body is really currency, like health is wealth. And basically what that says is that you have a wider selection of people now because not only you may be attractive, not only you may have a lot of money, not only you may have a good personality. It's like you have all three of those things. And your body looks good. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like a face. You have a, a pretty face or a handsome face and a nice body. So it's just like you become more dangerous. You know what I'm saying? It's not even the fact that like if you will talk to another friend or meet new people, it's your selection. It's not the fact that you're going to break up with your girlfriend. It's just the fact that you have the option to do that. You have more opportunities. And that kind of makes people feel insecure. So when it deals with your friends specifically, friends are... You meet friends at different points of your life. You know what I mean? It's just like certain friends that you had probably five or 10 years ago may not be your friends now just from different circumstances and just where you are in life. It's like when you start to grow and you start to figure out what you like and you start understanding, like, for example, gym is going to be a part of your life. Friends that do not make time for the gym, it's going to be hard to find time for them because they don't value the same things that you value as a person. Or they don't take the same thing seriously as you take seriously. So it becomes a push and pull because you may want to start training more. You know what I'm saying? You may want to be more serious into the gym. You may want to get a membership while this person may want to go out to eat. This person may want to spend money. This person might want to go to the club. So when you reject those opportunities or you reject those outings and things like that, people feel as though you become better because now you're not desperate to do certain things that you were doing previously. You're not as happy to do those things because now you understand that when you do practice body game, your body looks better and it's something you're doing personally. So it doesn't have anything to do with anybody else. So, you know what I mean? People do feel a little way about that and they may respond not directly. It's a passive aggressive tone to more so you'll hear comments like, okay, you think you are better than me. You think you're the shit. You think you 
have everything figured out. You know what I'm saying? Why are you doing this? It's just because they feel as though you're leaving them. You know what I mean? That's never a good feeling. Whenever somebody is growing or, you know, you can physically see they're outgrowing you. You just understand that, like, wow, I didn't really move at the same pace or I'm moving a lot slower than this person. And this person is just finding themselves, finding their success and finding their life. But you shouldn't envy that. But a lot of people do. No one wants to get left behind and nobody wants to feel as though they're not progressing in the way that they should be. So that's why you have to understand you meet people at different areas of your life. You meet friends at your areas of your life, but you have to keep growing. You know what I mean? And that's what I want you guys to understand is that it's not a personal thing, but it's a it's a part of life. It's a part of growth. You know what I mean? You can't stay a caterpillar all your life. You have to grow into that butterfly that you were meant to be because if you don't, you're holding your own self back, which then in turn holds the world back because you're not able to put out your gifts into the world. You're not able to do things that will benefit society because you're so worried about staying the same and not changing. You know what I mean? So also with body game, changing is uncomfortable. A lot of times, like when you are in the gym, you're lifting weights, you're lifting a max weight sometimes, when you're especially when you're trying to grow and you don't know if you're going to drop the weight. So that's the same thing what happens with life and your mindset with body game. It's like when at first things start to feel scary, but when you start working out and you start getting used to the weight and you start increasing the weight, you understand that the obstacles didn't change, but you're just more equipped and you're stronger to complete those tasks and complete those obstacles to where it's a lot easier. You know what I mean? So it's just like the same thing with life. And a lot of times like a problem or argument that you may have with your friend before it's like you start to understand it's not that big of a deal because now you have another priority that is outside of the friendship. You have another priority that is just dealing with you. You have another focus area that you could put all that energy and attention that can benefit you. And a lot of times, don't if people aren't benefiting from you, they don't want to be close by you. You know what I'm saying? They feel as though that you're changing and you're going to leave them. Sometimes they'll try to leave you before you leave them. And it's just because... Nobody wants to be left behind. That's all where it comes down to. So you may deal with certain things of people commenting on your new body. You may th deal with things to where people compare you to where you were before, or like they miss how you used to be and they miss how you were acting. And you might be a lot, you might, you know what I'm saying? Your personality still the same, it's still great, but it's just that you probably aren't as silly as you used to be, or you're more diligent with your time, or you're more organized with your time. So it's just like you understand that you may not have a lot of time to talk on the phone. You may not have a lot of time to uh, go to certain parties or go to parties every day out of the week. You may not have time to just talk about somebody's, your friend's problems all the time because you understand like, hey, I need to diet. I need to prep. I need to have this. I need to work out. I need to set my schedule. I need to figure out what workouts I'm going to do. And it's just that your mind is working to create a better lifestyle for you, which is very, very important. I don't want you guys to stop body game, but you have to understand that, you know, body game is not for other people. It's for you specifically. And, you know, you have to take that time out. It's your life. It's health as well. And you have to understand this is going to propel you to a better future. So you need to invest into it now. You know what I mean? Because it's just like. If anybody could say it, they probably wanted to get into the gym a lot earlier than what they started at. So it's like where you are now, if you start now, you're going to be further along the next couple of years. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be further because you're going to be consistent and you're going to be working on yourself. But yeah, what I want you guys to understand is that you have other things that are outside of your relationship or what's your friendship. You have other things you have to do into the world because... You know, the world is just the opportunity. You know what I mean? You have to take a lot of these opportunities, but you have to be ready for those opportunities. That's what I want you guys to understand is that, yes, it may be uncomfortable. Yes, people may be acting a certain way, maybe feeling different towards you, but you can't let them stop you from your greatness just from you being uncomfortable or you having to deal with certain conversations. You have to deal with certain fights. You know what I mean? It's just like sometimes you do outgrow the people you're around. You outgrow the friends you're around, and it's just – because you're changing, you are evolving, you're doing what you're supposed to do. So I end you with that note, that message is that, you know, don't ever let somebody stop you from greatness because they're uncomfortable. That's the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment box below. If you have dealt with that, also comment that in the comment box below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back with another video 
I'm out. Thanks so much for watching.